Hey everyone, this is going to be a video on the Deku Tree get item manipulation and all the little things and optimizations I've discovered while running this game. Now this video is going to be assuming that you already know the basics of get item manipulation by either watching Bakerar or Glad Jonas's tutorials, so keep that in mind. Now you want to start off by getting ice tree like normal, and you want to climb these vines as far to the right as you possibly can without falling off when you start climbing. And then what this allows you to do is drop earlier up here. Uh, you can drop during the second climb instead of waiting for it to finish. I see a lot of people climbing the full two steps right there, but that's unnecessary. You can just do this, uh, where you climb and then drop sort of during the climb like that, and that'll still work just fine. Now, when you get over into this corner, I see a lot of people um, mistiming the slash and the target uh, in this corner. I see a lot of people waiting to slash right here as if they're scared of it changing your position. Um, and I see a lot of people target too early after the slash, like they do that. Now, that should be the other way around. You should be slashing immediately and waiting to target. And that's the, the best way to do it. Because waiting to slash here doesn't change anything, but waiting to target does. Now one thing that a lot of people don't know about is right here, if you get an angle like this, and then right there, the camera locked, and I started counting the bobs after the camera locked. So right there, that was one bob as the camera locked, and then I'm going to keep counting up until three, two, then on this third one, when he starts going down, on the first frame of the shield being all the way underwater, which is this frame, you want to hit C up and A. And that right there gives you an immediate deep cycle that will work. Now right here, after counting the cycles, if you go a frame early on the C up and A, then that's not a big deal at all. So right here. That was a frame early, and what Link did there was he did one short and one then one deep, and this deep right here will work. Now, if you go a frame late on counting here, there, then what happens is Link will go short, deep, then short, then deep. The first deep that you will get will not work. Um, Link will just kind of swim in place if you try to cancel on that. But the second one will. So you waste three cycles, but at least the trick works still. There. Now one thing that I'll talk about is how your turnaround frame here affects your climbing on the vines. So right here, I got the perfect turnaround frame, the first frame of the camera being out of bounds. If I turn around on this frame, Link will swim perfectly into this corner. And then when I climb the vines afterwards, uh, what he'll do is his position will be perfect. So I can just climb right up here and go straight to the side. And that'll work just fine. Now if you turn around on this frame, which is one frame before the camera goes out of bounds, and you have to double tap C up to stay in the corner without clipping into bounce, then you have to do an adjustment climb on these vines by hugging the wall once to set Link's position again. Right there, I climbed into the wall once to set Link's position, and that allows the trick to work. Now it is possible with this frame that you still get the non-adjustment climb one if you see up cancel late, like if you're all the way into the corner. Um, but it's very inconsistent, so I wouldn't recommend going for it. Now with all that in mind, here's what the trick looks like in full speed, with all the optimizations that I taught you applied.
I hope this video helped you out. Now you want to be starting off by getting ISG out right here. Now you want to start off by getting ISG out right here. <clears throat> now you want to start off by getting ISG out right here. Holy shit. <laughs> 